Hello everyone, Lethertine Scale here, also known as Scale, and welcome to Chrono Cross. Just a heads up, this is the Radical Dreamers edition on the Switch, and this did originally air on my Twitch channel, which there will be a link for in the description. But enough talking, let's get into it. Yep, thank you. Man, I'm getting a lot of cure pluses. This is great. Let me in. There he is under poor con Oh, geez. Admittance is not accepted or whatever. Ugh. They knew what they were doing with this. They knew. 100% knew. Okay, you're dead. We're just gonna keep hitting. Let's get one more little bit on the... Man, you don't have a lot of accuracy on your hits, do you? Like, they don't go up a lot for you. Physicality just might not be your thing. Oh, one damage. Cool. Harley, your turn. Oh, okay. Well, I guess not. We'll just finish you off with links. There we go. <coughs> oh, sorry, guys. I couldn't, like, move quick enough, but also, like, I'm sitting in a way that makes everything easier on my stomach, so I don't want to, like, run that risk. No admittance until the investigation is over. Okay, so we're back outside then. That's fine. Back outside it is. Uh, kid, where'd your paw go? He was just here. Pa left again in search of a new mushroom. Papa! Uh. Well, I can't exactly get him back. Oh! Okay, there's one down there. I wasn't aware. Ooh, lots of new friends here. I like new friends. Okay, we're gonna hit the the crickets, because I think the crickets tend to take more. Leave her alone. Zero damage. Great. We are going places, guys. Alright, feral cats it is. I don't know why, but now I want chocolate milk. Like, the, the like, Nesquik chocolate milk? That just sounds perfect to me right now. Although I do have ice cream downstairs. So I could do that instead. Okay, I'm gonna hit you lightly. No! Ah. Come on, I'm just trying to get the thing off so I can kill all of you. Perfect. There we go. Man, I kinda wish that I had, um... Our little buddy. Whose name will come back to me later. The one we're trying to evolve. It'll be there. My mind went, I want some chocolate milk, so I'll melt some <laughs> chocolate ice cream. Y yeah, that's, that's where my mind went. Entirely. Like, I'm not gonna melt it, but I have, um... I have, like, the ice cream drumsticks in my fridge. And the reason I get those isn't necessarily because I'm like the biggest fan of them. Like, don't get me wrong. I like them. They're good. But, uh, my fiance like teeters on the edge constantly of lactose intolerance. Like, 100%. And so he can't eat ice cream in like large quantities or just sit down and have ice cream by itself. It just doesn't settle well in his body. Come on. No, not me. There we go. Um, so I get those because then he can have some, but uh, he's been eating literally all of my ice cream lately and I'm not very thrilled about it. Love him dearly, but for the love of God, buy me more ice cream. I have bought the last three boxes. Like, please, you make more than I do. Just, just every now and again, buy, be the one to buy the box of ice cream. I'm not even trying to be picky about it. As long as there's chocolate ice cream involved, that's what I want. 
please and thank you. That is all. I love me some good chocolate ice cream. Although, like, I'm also now just still reflecting more on my, uh... Ooh, right, we should do your laser thing, right? Yeah, long shot. Because we can. I mean, yeah, he's a green, but still. Oh. Can my face stop itching for like a second and a half, please? That does not do much damage. Not by any stretch of the means. Ooh. Ho! Oh. Hey. All right, attack time. But yeah, I'm thinking about like when I used to make coffee for the bookstore because making coffee for the bookstore was one of my favorite things in the world. And like, yeah, it was a really like not super great job, obviously, because it paid like nine bucks an hour in 2020 money and in 2021 money too. Ooh, guys, get away from me, please. And so, like, obviously, that's not much. And once once that was, you know, over and handled with, and we accepted that, like, we got to just screw around, like, all the time. It was great. So I would just, like, hang out. Nobody tried to stop me. Nobody tried... Okay. Man... This place is rubble. I believe it has been four years since I retired from the Dragoons. <sighs> Time sure does fly. I was shocked to hear of Daria's death three years ago. And now the General and the others are missing. The manor is in shambles. I took the liberty of conducting my own investigation, but... I have discovered nothing. All I know is that a man named Lynx approached the general. The garden town did say the manor was in ruins. I forgot that. That that piece of information went in one ear and right back out the other. And has involved him in some kind of incident. Probably stabbed him. If I had to guess, probably stabbed him. The only difference... With the other world you talk about, is that something happened to the general three years ago here. I just hope that this Norris fellow knows something. I know nothing. I was not involved with the plan. You're Norris? I do not find it amusing. I see. I, I can't just walk in, huh? Can I, like, crawl up or something? I imagine something over here has got to be more relevant, right? No. There was a lake here in the previous, wasn't there? So now it's a matter of figuring out how to get up there. FYI, there is a hole in here you can go up and down. To the right of a soldier, but a soldier might be in the way at the moment. Okay. Ah, there we go. It is unstable here. Please enter through the well on your right to reach the basement. Oh. Well, I appreciate the heads up, dude. Thanks. I should go back and see... Oh, I thought maybe I could go back through here. The answer is no. Sir Norris is in the basement. Please enter through this well. I wonder if Norris is going to be somebody that we've recognized. Yes. Somebody that we've seen before. I doubt it, but I'm just curious. Uh, oh! Sir Norris is in the basement. Through here, please. What? 
please go through here to get to the basement of Viper Manor. Oh. That makes more sense. Okay. Everything clicks a little better now. Um. Well, this is truly interesting. The ladder leading up to the prison is up ahead, sir. Because you came down through the well, they let you through. I see. I see. That makes sense. Okay, so that's definitely the way up. Can I get up through there, though? Sorry, I just want to do some good, thorough investigating. Just for some, aha, uh -huh. just for some good measure, because it did look like I could come over here. Much better. A mithril helmet. Ooh. Ooh, I don't know what this is going to do. Okay, interesting. Interesting indeed. And I, I can't. Okay. Huh. Okay, nothing over here, but boy, is it making my character model glitch right out. Okay. I thought I would just check around first. Just, oh, I'm going to need him to move, aren't I? Okay, probably not until after I go to the prison, though. Yeah, I see. And he's blocking it. I don't think I can get over there until I've gone to the prison. Sir Norris is up the ladder, sir. Works for me. Can my nose stop itching, please? Like, for the love of God. Okay. Okay. It's locked. Well, that's not much of a shock. You'll find Sir Norris in here. Seems to be the only accessible room. Thanks. <gasps> oh! Oh! Is this, like, a grown-up different version of, um... The kid I didn't get in the beginning? Or some relation to him or something? Because he looks like him. There. <clears throat> sir Lynx, it's been a while, sir. Thank you, Glenn. Okay. Does he have any relationship to Glenn? I'm just curious. Because, like I said, they're very similar in their looks. Like, the blonde hair, blue eyes, with the kind of comb-over-y look. As you can see, the manor is in shambles. Nope, he's from the mainland. I see. I see, that makes sense. Okay. I don't think we see him in another world since he's part of the poor military. I see. That makes sense. Makes much more sense. Ugh. Hold on, sorry. Something's going on on my side. Oh, okay. I thought that was changing things. It was not. Okay. There's still no sign of the general or the others. <clears throat> Thanks, Nightbot. We are still investigating the area, but it appears that the frozen flame is not here. You do see him in the other world next time you go there. He was disguised as a dishwasher in the manor earlier. Oh, it's him. I knew he looked familiar. I just couldn't place why. The dishwasher that was suspicious of everything. I knew he had to be somebody we've met. Sir, are you really Sir Lynx? As far as this world is concerned and... 
The crazy chick next to me with the dingle dangle ears? Yes. You seem different than I remember. Well, it's been three years. <clears throat> okay, thanks. You are correct. This man is not Lynx. Excuse me, sir, but who might you be? <clears throat> I am Radius Dragoon. Although I have been retired for four years. So, you are Radius, one of the former four divas? Oh, wow. Okay. It's an honor to meet you, sir. Glad I got him in my back pocket. I believe you, sir, but it's still hard to accept that this man is not Sir Lynx. <clears throat> he may look like Lynx, but his spirit is that of another. That is quite strange, if I may say so. <clears throat> it's up to you. Wait, no, no. Yeah, it is up to you what you want to believe. So, what business do you have with Lynx? Have you uncovered anything about the disappearance of the general? Will you do us... You will be doing us a great favor by telling us what you know. Very well. I will tell you what I know. Great, thanks. Okay. It was actually Sir Lynx who approached us about the existence of the frozen flame in El Nindo. Being from the main continent, we had no... We had doubted its very existence, so I sent the El Nindo Archipelago as a spy. I see. I narrowed down the location to Viper Manor, but it appeared as though General Viper and his men were in search of it as well. I see. Eventually, I was called back to Poor, but it was then that I heard General Viper and his men had disappeared and that the manor had been destroyed. Huh. I heard only recently that there is good evidence the general and his men are headed to the Dead Sea. I see his pirates probably now. The Dead Sea is an ocean located to the east, surrounded by coral. It used to be called the Sea of Eden, but even then many dared not enter. We investigated the area, but to no avail. We could find no entrance. Okay. It is you, Sir Lynx, who wished to change this distorted world using the frozen flame. Um. Ooh la la. Such grand dreams, Monsieur Lynx. Hold your tongue. Zoot. Oh, don't just go around saying that in, a, in this game, man. So, the Dead Sea. That ocean was called the Sea of Eden until three years ago. This may just be the clue we are looking for. Once we uncovered Lynx's plans, it should be easy enough to encounter them. Are you planning to go to the Dead Sea? There is no way to get in there. We searched all over for an entrance, but no avail. No one knows anything about one either. Uh. <clears throat> yes, but you but I doubt you will be able to get in. I'm sure the Oh man, that just sorry, my throat is gone. Hold on. Okay. I'm sure the demi humans of Marlborough have something about this, but they detest humans. Especially those from the main continent. Perhaps they would give us a hint if we were to go with you. Then, may I join you, sir? I want to know. I want to know if the frozen flame really exists. And about everything that has happened here. What about you? Hmm? Moi? But of course. I will follow this Monsieur Lynx. The other one is no longer Monsieur Lynx. So she'll follow me? There is a military boat docked in Termina that... Let us use that. Thank you. 
Norris is in the party. Cool, he's cute. I like him. We're just going to keep the, the trio we've got now. Not because they're particularly good, but because... Um, so you now have a boat. Goldove has new elements in its shop, and you can go to Fort Dragonia and hatch the egg. Oh, you're right. Oh, you're so right. This is a superior vessel, mind you. Only military personnel are allowed on this boat. I'm on the boat. Do I need to have him with me? There are also a few other things that you can do. Oh. 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 Is this my boat? Man, they knew. They knew I was going to do that. There are a few other things that I can do, too. Um, then in which case, the first thing I'd like to do... We're going to stop in Goldove and get new elements, because I'll forget. Genuinely. Number one. Number two, I want to go hatch the egg, because like I said, I want to get friends. Right, Goldove. Uh, but yeah, I want to get friends. I want to get as many friends as we possibly can. Oh, who are you? What is this? Did you come from the mainland as well? It's none of my business. I've got nothing to sell to my business rivals. See ya. Oh, okay, cool. So there are a couple of unmarked places on the map you can get to now. There's a little ring of islands south to the main island you can go to. Oh, okay. Then I'm going to stop in the shop. Um, Orcha. Yo, this is a mighty small shop, but it painted a great place to kick back. Yeah, cool, thanks. Um, because I'm actually thinking about not going for too much longer, especially because my abdominal pain seems to be fluctuating between insufferable and tolerable. So we're not well stocked. We're not stocked well compared to the city, but we have some rare elements. Yes, please let me browse. If you go to Sky Dragon Isle, there's a boss and a recruitable character. Okay. Well, let's see. What do we have here? Purify, which I don't have even one of yet. Cover all 99. It, only if innate color is red. No. I'm just trying to get, like, a whole bunch of different, um... I just want to get one of each. Okay. Seal all. Revenge. Okay. There aren't any bosses in Fort Dragonia, just normal enemies. Cool. Uh, you need to go through the El Nino Triangle first. Okay. Yeah. So, for me then, the next step is eat, yep, going down. Yeah, so for me, the next step is to just go hatch our egg then. That's, that's the big thing I want to do. And then I think that'll probably end up being all that we'll be able to do for the day. Just based on like how I'm feeling. Especially because I don't know what keeps causing my abdominal pains. This is a different one than usual, so. Alright. There's the shore. I'm going to have to go through here, though, to get to the thing, aren't I? Because I haven't run through this yet in this world. Yeah. I'd have to run through... Mount Pyre real quick. Anything I should get out of this before I freeze this then? Just 
just just double check it before I just do it. Ah, you know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna run. Okay. Oop. Okay. Cool. Just freeze it then. So I just drained all my health for nothing. Cool. Wait. Oh, because I just bolted straight through. It didn't do that much damage to me. I see. Hey, look, it's the hot doggo. The hot diggity. Oh, boy. Anything in any of these remaining rooms I should know about before I start freezing things? Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, bad. Bad, bad, bad. Oh, Man. It's okay. Eek. There's a... F Usually it's fairly easy to tell if there's a chest in the lava. Well, so that's the thing, right? It's got less to do with seeing if there is one in the lava, and it's more about, um... Because I only have a limited range of, like, seeing so much of the map, right? So I want to know if there's, like, stuff further out of sight in the map that I need to be aware of before I freeze it. Is kind of really what it comes down to. I got mithril out of that. I'll take mithril. Thanks everyone so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you liked what you saw here today. And be sure to hit that notification bell so that you get notified when I'm playing more Chrono Cross. Take care, everybody.